In this recording, we will look at how to find the vector equation of a straight line, given we know it's Cartesian equations. By Cartesian equations, we mean equations of the type shown here. So x minus c1 divided by a1 is y minus c2 divided by a2 equals z minus c3 divided by a3. And we want to rewrite it in vector form r equals c plus t times a, where r is the position vector of a general point x, y, z on the line, c is the position vector of a specific point on the line, and you'll see that's where the c1, c2, c3 come in, and a is a vector in the direction of the line. And you can see the components of the vector a, a1, a2 and a3 also appear here in the Cartesian equations. So how do we get from these Cartesian equations to vector form? Let's illustrate this with an example. So we want to find the equation of the following straight line, x minus 2 divided by 3 equals y plus 7 divided by negative 5 equals z divided by 2. With these Cartesian equations, each of these can be thought of as equal to t. So in other words, the first part of those equations, x minus 2 divided by 3 equals t, and we rearrange this to make x the subject. So therefore, it follows from that that x minus 2 equals 3t, multiplying both sides by 3, and therefore x is equal to 2 plus 3t. Looking at the next of our Cartesian equations here, y plus 7 divided by negative 5 was the next part of this. So again, setting that equal to t, multiplying both sides by negative 5 gives y plus 7 equal to negative 5t. And again, the aim here is to make y the subject so therefore, subtracting 7 from both sides, y equals negative 7 minus 5t. And finally, z divided by 2, setting that equals t. That one rearranges quite readily to give z equal to 2t, or 0 plus 2t. So these equations here, x equals 2 plus 3t, y equals negative 7 minus 5t, and z equals 2t. Together, these are the scalar parametric equations of our straight line. But we want to write these in vector form, r equals c plus ta. But we also know that since r is the position vector of a general point, x, y, z on the line, it is of the form x, i plus y, j, plus zk. So if we substitute in our x, y, z above in terms of t, that will be the next step. So here I've summarised our information for x, y and z, so this will become r equals 2 plus 3t for x times i plus negative 7 minus 5t for y times j and then plus 2t for z times k and if we expand that we get 2i plus 3ti minus 7j minus 5tj plus 2tk and now if we group all the terms with t and all the terms without t, the ones without t are 2i minus 7j and then the rest of the terms have t in them. So let's take t out as a common factor. So t times 3i minus 5j plus 2k. And this equation is now in the correct form. That is, it is now in the form r equals a vector here, which is basically c, plus t 
times another vector a. In other words, this is now the vector equation of our straight line as required. And let's just finish by relating that back to our original Cartesian equations which I've rewritten here. And this vector in the direction of the line 3i minus 5j plus 2k if we look at it that 3 and negative 5 and 2 they also appear here so that shows you the relationship between those in our sets of equations well if we look at this part where we have our 2 and our negative 7 the opposite signs of those values appear here and in that case there was not a k term on its own here so we just had z here so this demonstrates how to convert from Cartesian equations into a vector equation of a straight line